Well, hello, kitty. Look who's here. All our fans are out there. So we have two knives in front of us here. In front, we have a Rough Rider Camp King, which is a four-tool pocket knife. You've got the can opener, a cap lifter screwdriver, a punch blade, and a spear blade. And in the back, we have a Victorinox Swiss Army knife Tinker, uh, which is a six-tool knife. Actually, they give it more than that, but we'll just say it's got six blades, so six tools. Uh, we've got the can opener uh, with the screwdriver tip, a cap lifter with a screwdriver tip and a wire stripper, and then we have a small blade and a larger spear blade. And then on the back side, we have a uh, Phillips driver and a sewing awl. Uh, now, why am I talking about these two knives in this video? Well, it's because a viewer contacted me because uh, they decided to swap out their um, Victorinox Tinker for a uh, Rough Rider Camp King. And uh, after carrying it for basically a day, he said, that Rough Rider Scout knife weighs like double what the Tinker weighs. Are all camp knives like that? And it got me to thinking. And uh, and the, the, the short answer is, yeah, actually they are. Um, uh, most, uh, most camp knives or Scout knives, whatever you want to call them, they're going to weigh more than your um, your Tinker or your Victorinox Spartan, um, which has more tools. Uh, and, uh, well, why is that? And I, I can tell you, in the case of the, uh, um, the uh, Camp King, well, look at the size difference to begin with. You got much, much thicker uh, back springs. You've got the brass liners going on. You've got bone scales. You have uh, uh, the nickel silver bolsters going on, as opposed to this, this particular one, which has an ABS handle. Uh, most of them will have a red, the red cellador scale. This one uh, has an ABS handle, which is actually a little lighter than the red cellador even. Um, you do have the tweezers and the toothpick in there also. So there's a little bit of hollowness to these handles sometimes, especially the red Celador ones. They have a hollow handle. Um, so all of that uh, is weight reduction in the knife. But more importantly, let's look at the size of the different tools. So here's the can opener on the uh, Camp King. And here's the can opener on uh, the Victorinox. Obviously, the Victorinox can opener is smaller. Uh, just as useful, works just as well once you get the hang of it and everything, but it is a definitely smaller can opener than what you see on, um, on the Rough Rider Camp King. And if we flip over to the other side and we open up the um, cap lifter screwdriver, then you're definitely going to see a difference in size between the two. And notice the difference in size. Uh, this is a much longer screwdriver. It's taking up a lot more metal. Um, it's a little bit thicker. So all of that is also adding into the weight differences between the two knives. Um, even the punch blade uh, that you have here um, is larger and heavier. Uh, and so even though this has more tools on it, it's going to weigh less, especially when you consider the hunk of steel in the two blades. Can you see the difference there? I mean, it is visible to the uh, eye that the, uh, the blade on the Camp King is quite a bit... Uh, 
uh, wider or thicker. And it is, also has more belly on it. So it's a bigger blade all around. And all of that adds to the grams and the weight. But really, the, uh, the, the significant difference in it is probably partly the bone handles and stuff because the bone handled uh, uh, scout knives weigh more than the ones with the Delrin handles. So that's another problem with it. Also, you have brass liners versus a, uh, a thinner um, Alox um, liner on the uh, Victorinox knives. So all of that is why that uh, scout knife is going to weigh more. Uh, I'm not trying to de defend the scout knife. I'm also not trying to bash the tinker or anything. It really does come down to personal preference on which one you're going to want to carry or not. But the fact that the uh, the tinker with six functions, uh, including that Phillips driver, um, and is much lighter, it does definitely make it more pocket friendly than your typical scout knife. And uh, it's one of those things that people are going to consider when they, they, you know, decide to carry a knife or not. They don't want something very heavy in their pocket. Um, uh, some people are more than happy to carry the extra weight on these. And we are talking about a significant difference in weight. Um, the uh, Tinker here uh, comes in at 61.1 grams versus the Camp King, which comes in at 116.7 grams. Uh, that is basically a difference of almost 56 grams. So that is almost double the weight when you think about it. So um, for some people, that is going to be a significant difference um, for pocket carry. Uh, a lot of people like a lighter knife in their pocket. That also means that um, you could also carry um, a larger, uh, more functional Victorinox uh, knife for instance, say maybe a Huntsman in place of the Tinker. For instance, this is uh, my Boy Scout uh, Wood Badge uh, Huntsman, which is really the Victorinox uh, Field Master. Um, and on top of what you get in a normal Tinker here, this knife also has a pair of scissors and wood saw. So you have even more additional tools in here. And this knife comes in at right at 99.7 grams. So this knife is actually still 16 grams lighter than the Camp King. And if you notice here, it's really about the same width in the pocket, just slightly wider than what you have in the Camp King. So. Again, um, I'm not trying to bash the Camp King or anything because I like uh, four-bladed camp knives. I've got tons of them, and uh, I carry them quite often. But for functionality in a pocket or something like that, yeah, you're, you're going to be better off with a, uh, with like a, uh, a Victorinox um, um, Swiss Army knife than you will with the, um, the Scout knife. And that might be one reason why Victorinox um, knives, the, the Swiss Army knives, have remained consistent sellers over the years, whereas regular scout knives and stuff have kind of fallen to the side because uh, Victorinox has pretty much um, perfected the, uh, the building of camp knives. In any case, what I thought I would do with this video after talking about all that is compare um, the weight of a tinker to various uh, camp knives that I have uh, so that you can see basically how much more pocket friendly um, your basic tinker is compared to other scout knives. Uh, again, um, I like carrying scout knives. I carry them quite often, but I thought it would be nice to see the difference in weight. And for some people, that dif difference in weight it's really not that significant 
they're not worried about an extra 50 grams in their pocket or anything like that. Uh, but other people, um, they may see that and go, wow, I don't want to carry that extra weight. Or they may say, you mean I can carry like a, a, uh, a field master in my pocket and it will still be lighter than the camp cane? I know what I want to do. Or some people are going to go, I don't care. I just like going old school and I like the... Uh, the robust larger blades that you have on this i want a blade with a little uh, thickness on there uh, i would rather have the uh, 440 steel than uh, than the uh, uh, the steel that is used in a victorinox knife for those people i will tell them it, the steel is about the same um, but in any case you know there might be different reasons why you want to carry different knives plus some people just like the heft of, of the um, of an old scout knife or they just like the memory of an old scout knife but in any case um, stick around I'll show you some weight differences between your basic tinker like I said at 61.1 grams versus different uh, scout knives and also different models of uh, Swiss Army knives <coughs> I'm guessing that the slideshow was nice, but it was a little bit hard to digest. So what I've done is I've prepared two more slides uh, that compare the 24 knives of the slideshow to the uh, the uh, Victorinox Tinker and the Rough Rider Camp King. Each slide has the weight of the uh, Victorinox Tinker and the Rough Rider Camp King at the top, and then 12 of the knives that were shown uh, in the slideshow uh, will appear underneath those two knives. So you can compare those weights to the other knives. The first column identifies the knife. The second column identifies the weight of the knife. The third column shows the difference of the knife's weight compared to the tinker. And then the fourth column shows the difference of the knife's weight compared to the Rough Rider Camp King. And finally, the uh, knives are color-coded. So, for instance, if the 
color in the column shows up as peach, then that's how much the knife outweighs the other knife. So for instance, the Rough Rider Camp King outweighs the Tinker by 55.6 grams. However, the Imperial Camp King only outweighs the uh, Tinker by 15.5 grams. And next you see the columns that are in green. And in this case, it's how much less the knife weighs compared to the other knife. So in the case of the uh, Tinker, it is 55.6 grams less than the Camp King. However, the Victorinox Spartan is 1.7 grams less than the Tinker. So it is also 57.3 grams less than the Camp King. So the Victorinox Spartan weighs less than either the Tinker or the Rough Rider Camp King, just as the Remington Trailhand outweighs both the Tinker and the Remington or and the uh, Rough Rider Camp King. Moving on to slide two, you see the uh, Tinker and the Camp King once again at the top, plus 12 knives underneath. And now in the case of these knives, many of these are actually four blade camp knives. Uh, the ones with the main blade, the can opener, the cap lifter, and um, the punch, similar to what you have on the Rough Rider Camp King. Um, and the reason I did that is I wanted to show you that despite several knives being basically your four blade scout knife, they also will come in at different weights depending on who made them. Uh, and several of these are Boy Scout knives. And the, we, here we have the, uh, the Chinese made Boy Scout knife, the Baron Sun Boy Scout knife, and the Ulster Boy Scout knives. And you see that all of them outweigh the Tinker, but by different amounts. Uh, and all of them are less weight than the uh, Rough Rider Camp King. I also went ahead and looked at the uh, Camillus 99 Camp Knife, which is uh, readily available, and you see that it weighs differently too. What really struck me uh, as odd is the weight of the Baron Sun Boy Scout Knife, which has Delrin ham handles that are similar to the Ulster and the uh, Camillus Knife, yet it is substantially heavier because stainless steel is used throughout. Uh, whereas the Ulster Camp uh, Boy Scout knife and the Camillus uh, 99 Camp knife have brass liners and such. So that is why they weigh less than the much heavier uh, Baron Sun knife. Um, but you notice also the China knife that uses bone handles uh, still comes in at less than the uh, Camilla's 99, and that's because the blades are thinner on that Chinese-made Boy Scout camp knife. I decided to also go ahead and weigh the uh, China Deluxe BSA and the Camilla's Deluxe uh, BSA knives. These are the uh, basically the five-tool uh, Boy Scout knives that have the end-mounted uh, Phillips driver. And the reason I added those into this mix is simply because uh, they're more comparable to the Victorinox Tinker um, in their tool set. I also decided to weigh the Case Scout Junior with the uh, jig bone handles. Uh, and that was primarily because I wanted to compare that to the Rough Rider Camp King. The two knives have nearly identical tool sets. However, the Case Scout Junior is built on a three and three eighths inch frame versus a three and three quarter inch frame. So all of the tools are smaller, still just as functional, but uh, smaller and much lighter as you can tell. And I also decided to weigh some uh, common Victorinox knives that are often carried as um, as EDCs, particularly the uh, Victorinox 84 millimeter Walker and the 91 millimeter Compact. Now both the Walker and the Compact replace the uh, can opener and the cap lifters found on the Victorinox Tinker with a uh, 
combination tool and they put that combination tool in place of the uh, this small pin blade which allows the knives to eliminate an entire layer of the knife of course part of that means that you have lost a pin blade but otherwise the functionality is about the same the screwdriver on the combination tool can sort of work as a Phillips driver but it's not as nearly as effective as the Phillips driver on the Tinker. And neither the Walker or the Compact has a, a, an awl with a sewing eye. However, the Walker has a wood saw and the Compact has a pair of small scissors. And the Compact also has the uh, all-purpose hook with a nail file built into it. And it also comes with a, uh, an ink pen because it has plus scales. So um, that's why these knives are popular. And you can see the weight differences between those and the Tinker and the Rough Rider Camp King. And then you see the difference between um, the Victorinox 108 millimeter German Army knife and the Victorinox 111 millimeter German Army knife, both of which I feel are more useful than either the Tinker or the Rough Rider Camp King. And here you can see the weight differences between those. And um, for somebody who would be in the outdoors um, needing things like a wood saw and such, perhaps that 111 millimeter German Army knife would make more sense than either of these knives despite the weight. And finally, uh, the Victorinox Explorer with the plus scales is the knife that I typically carry all the time. Um, and as you can see, it weighs more than a Tinker, but it also has a lot more uses than the Tinker does. And yet it still weighs less than the Rough Rider Camp King. Now, going back to slide one, I also want to point out a few things here in, uh, in things like the Victorinox Fieldmaster. Um, obviously, it weighs substantially more than the Tinker at 38.6 grams, uh, but it is still less than the Camp King, and it's about the same size as the Camp King, as I mentioned in the video. Uh, however, while it weighs more than the Tinker, it has many more uses than the Tinker in that it has a pair of scissors with it as well as a wood saw, which uh, makes a, a big difference if it's something that you're using while camping or something. Perhaps it's not uh, your choice for an everyday carry, but that really depends on what you uh, commonly need day to day. So that's one of the reasons why these uh, four and five layer uh, Victorinox knives still get everyday use by certain people because they are still relatively compact and relatively light. Not as light as a Tinker, but lighter than other pocket knives of about the same size. I also found it kind of interesting that the Victorinox Spartan, and I weighed numerous Tinkers and numerous Spartans, and in general, the, the, uh, the Spartan tends to be about one and a half grams lighter than the Tinker on average. Uh, and it uh, basically comes down to the fact that the Spartan has a corkscrew instead of the uh, Phillips driver. But what really re uh, surprised me was the weight of the Wenger Evo 10 and the Wenger Commander. Now, the Commander was a knife that was made back in the 1960s. Uh, the Wenger Evo 10 is uh, a much newer knife made sometime after 2010. And you notice the weight differences. And these knives have the basically the same tools as the Victorinox Spartan, except they're built on an 85 millimeter frame. So it's a smaller knife and uh, it has a nail file instead of a small blade. Um, but obviously a lighter weight knife than the Tinker. Well, the uh, Wenger Evo 10 was lighter than the Tinker. The Commander is obviously heavier, but that's because it's a much earlier made knife uh, from the 1960s uh, with um, thicker uh, liners in it and uh, a solid uh, Celador scale to it. Plus, you have that uh, bail on there instead of the, uh, the key ring. All of that adds to the weight. So even though it is a 
a smaller knife, 85 millimeters versus 91 millimeters, it is still heavier than the Tinker. And I'm sure a lot of people notice the uh, weight differences uh, with the Imperial Camp King versus the Rough Rider Camp King. And that's basically the difference between a hollow shell handle and a, uh, a uh, bone handle with the nickel silver bolsters. But then we also can see here with several uh, of the uh, other knives here with the, uh, the Victorinox Pioneer and the Pioneer X, definitely heavier than the Tinker and not nearly as many tools as the Tinker, but that's because of the A-lock scales, but still substantially less weight than the uh, Rough Rider Camp King. And the same thing with the uh, Camilla's uh, military knife or the demo knife. Uh, what kind of surprised me was the difference in weight between the uh, Camillus uh, uh, demo knife and the Marbles GI knife, which is a copy of the, the Camillus demo knife. And notice it is actually heavier. The Remington trail hand uh, has all the tools that you would find on the Tinker minus the, uh, the uh, toothpick and the tweezers. But notice the substantial weight uh, differences between the two uh, as it actually outweighs the Rough Rider Camp King even. Um, and that is with Delrin handles. And finally, I threw in that Coleman camp utensil set or the uh, take apart hobo knife because I was just curious on uh, where it would come out and the weight. And interesting enough, it's pretty much right in the middle between the Tinker and the Camp King. Okay, I guess that pretty much wraps this up. Uh, I hope you found it useful. It was um, it was a little tedious putting together, but I kind of enjoyed doing it also. And it was, uh, at least to me, it was interesting to see the weight differences between a, a variety of camp knives. And, uh, well, let me know if this is something um, that you found useful or not. And uh, if you'd like to see this done with other knives, um, you know, uh, other varieties of knives just to see, um, you know, how they stack up against each other. Uh, obviously, it should be knives that serve a similar purpose. In the case of this, I, I thought it was interesting to see the way different, uh, you know, camp utility scout kind of knives uh, compare in weight. In any case, uh, thanks for watching and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks again for dropping by here at Knife Chats with Tobias. I'm here with the whole production team. I'm Tobias. This here's Kitty. And she really does appreciate your comments. So don't forget to leave a comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Every time Kitty hears that bell, she knows it's time for food. Thanks again. We'll talk to you again soon.